Hey everybody, um, just wanted to share, do a scrap share and um, a small haul. I've ordered a bunch of stuff from, I ordered stuff from Peachy Cheap and, no, Scrappies and Unity and I just did one with all scrapbook steals but, I don't know, they're taking their time coming to Canada. It's ridiculous how long stuff from the U.S. takes to come to Canada. I guess going through customs. In any case, um, this is the share. This is called Best Buds. It's a picture of um, my dad and my son um, up at our family cottage. I'm going to turn on, hold on, I'm going to turn on this light. Maybe that will help a bit. Um, and uh, I used uh, mostly Studio Calico, my Studio Calico kit from January again. Um, so this background paper is from my kit. This is October afternoon. Um, from the sarsaparilla, this big sheet, and then I just backed the picture in craft um, cardstock and distressed it, and um, I did some banners down here, and these, um, what else, these are thickers, and these are from the Studio Calico craft cardstock stickers. I cut these rulers, I don't know if you can see the rulers um, out of a, those are from My Mind's Eye Fun Day. Um, I just cut them out of a sheet of paper. This chipboard accent is from, I don't know, some old chipboard set I have. And then this doily is from uh, Five and Dime cardstock stickers. And then uh, this is from an old Cane Company um, ephemera pack as well as these little chipboard words are all from a, an old King Company thing. These stickers are from Making Memories Pitter Patter, or stickers, ribbon. And I use some washi tape here, that's the other part of the cardstock ribbon. I use some washi tape and then I just cut um, banners out of some of the paper and edge them with Distress Ink. And then this is a Making Memories big grommet, but it was white. So what I did is I painted it with um, blue Jenny Bolin ink, a Jupiny, Jenny Bolin paint dauber and some gray and then I dried it and then just put a little bit of uh, vintage photo distress ink on it so it would match the picture. So that's my layout. This is from, I'm trying to remember where that is from. I don't remember where I got this. It's, uh, what is the company? Hold on, I think they're right here. Are they here? What are these tags from? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, little kits of tags. They're really cute. They're in one of my haul videos. Anyway, so that's my latest layout. I should say that um, I actually got the idea from Scrapbook Trends, um, this layout right here. So I kind of lifted it. Anyway, I got my February Studio Calico kit. And... Um, Everyone on the Studio Calico boards were going crazy because it's got a lot of the Dear Lizzie new release. Um, and we're buying all the add-ons and oh, there was lots of drama on Studio Calico boards because it sold out quick and in any case, I um, well, I'm just going to pull out what isn't part of the kit. I um, I actually just got the basic kit and a couple of Mr. Hueys and stuff I'll show you. Um, I, I mean the Dear Lizzie stuff is cute but it's not... I'm not really into the cutesy stuff. I ordered some stuff off, off all scrapbook steals just because I love, really the stamp is awesome. And I'll show you, I ordered a couple of extra pieces of paper that actually came in the kit, but I really like both sides, so I wanted more. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, um, so it's just the basic kit. I didn't get any of the add-on kits to this month. Um, so what did the kit come with? It came with this cute little yellow envelope. Uh, a vintage card and that is my last name's initial and apparently in a lot of kits they tried to at least make the card initial uh, relative. These um, Dear Lizzie chipboard or sorry um, letter stickers they're uh, actually quite cute I like the color and it's got gray lettering and they're a little bit distressed so those are nice. This was the stamp that came with the kit it's just a border stamp or a journaling stamp. These Dear Lizzie epoxy stickers Um, the Mistables by Pink Paisley, 
I've never had these before, so I'm kind of looking forward to using this. I have an idea with those. And then these gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies. They're from Etsy. Uh, they're called the Guilt from the Guilted Bee, I guess is the shop. Yeah, the Guilted Bee dot the Gilded Bee dot Etsy. But these butterflies are stunning. Hold on, I'm gonna open this so you can see one. They're so cute. So really, really pretty butterflies. So there's three of them, like a peachy color, um, soft pink, a teal, and a yellow. Then I love these. These are exclusive to Studio Calico. They're um, thickers and they're just plain chipboard letter stickers, so you can make them any color you want. I love those. And then these are the papers. that came in the kit. Oh, let me just pop this stuff back in. So you got um, five sheets of cardstock. So a soft kind of ivory color, this pretty yellow, a craft cardstock, a nice gray and a red. Then from Neapolitan, this is called Sea Breeze. So I like this side. Um, this one is also from Neapolitan and it's called Hazy Horizon. So it's got um, a chevron with uh, wood grain and then this beautiful green. And this is the one that I love, but I really like both sides. So I actually ordered another page of this one because I really like it. This one is from Pebbles. It's called uh, the, is it called? It's from the Hip Hip Array collection, Happy Day. So the yellow and then these stripes. Not really keen on this, but I like the yellow polka dot. This is from the Neapolitan. So flowers and then this cute little um, frame. And it looks like um, it's distressed a bit with like coffee or water stains on it. It's pretty like that. Then this is from, I think, Hip Hip Hooray again from Pebbles. So the flowers and then these squiggly lines, which is quite cute. And then these are the exclusive papers that came with the kit. Um, so this one and this amazing zigzag chevron. Oh my God, I love this. I love that. Then this one with the cute little frames. It's going to be fun to cut up and a wood grain. And then this adorable uh, wood grain with the hearts. And I have a great idea for this paper. I'm going to see if it works out. Um, and then just some script on the back. So that was a February Studio Calico kit. Really cute. Still happy I subbed. And then I just bought some additional pieces. I got the uh, Signal Uniball white gel pen. Um, it's like $2.50 on the Studio Calico website. So, and it's hard to find. So I picked it up. I got, I'm trying to build up my Mr. Huey's collection. So um, I uh, every month I'm just gonna add a couple more pieces. So I finally got Calico White and I got clay. So I got those. And then the only other thing I added on was the Dear Lizzie um, chipboard. And this stuff, oh my God, it's really cute. So if you can see all the different pieces. Um, I actually ordered the Mason Jar stamp from this as well, from All Scrapbook Steals. They had it on Dear, Dear Lizzie Collection already on for 25% off. So the prices were pretty good. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed some more pieces of the Dear Lizzie there. Then um, I think it was Peachy Cheap had a sale on some crepe paper stickers and free stickers and border stickers. So I ordered that. Um, so this is the border stickers from the Random Collection. And these are from Portrait Collection. They're border stickers too. Or, yeah. And then these are the fray stickers from the Random Collection. Really like those. These are from the fray stickers from the Portrait Collection. I mean, some of them are wedding themed, but I mean, this would look really nice on a wedding card if you have a wedding to go to. So, I mean, I'll use it. Then the border stickers from the Farmhouse Collection. And then, I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. They said two of the same thing. I mean, so these are the neighborhood phrase stickers and they sent two of the same one. I'm kind of disappointed with that. There was going to be one 
surprise set. And I, I guess my mistake for assuming that the surprise set would be something different than what's already included in the purchase. But no, so I got two of it. Um, I mean, they're cute. I'll use them. But still, I mean, I would have liked to have gotten actually um, more border stickers. Like, I wouldn't have minded the free stickers from the farmhouse collection. That would have been good. But anyway, so that's that. Um, um, I did do a process video for this layout. But I'm trying to figure out how to fast forward it. I can't figure out how to fast forward it. I have I, um, iMovie... 08 and apparently on iMovie 08 you can't fast forward a video and then I searched message boards to find out um, how you know to do it and they said oh download you can get download the iMovie 06 and run that because you can do it on the older version but now you can't get that anymore as a free download so I think I'm going to have to buy some video editing software. So I'm trying to decide between QuickTime Pro and then the Windows um, Media one. So if anyone has any suggestions, I need it to be simple. I'm not a computer guru by any means. But if anyone has any suggestions on, you know, um, which one I should get. I don't want to spend, you know, $200 on a program that I'm just going to do scrapbook process videos with. I don't do a lot of video editing. Um, so QuickTime Pro, I think, was only 30 bucks. Um, and I'm going to look up the Windows one, but if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. I'd appreciate your feedback. Um, but that's it. That's all. Thanks everyone. Have a great one. Bye.